be considered as the epicenter of all developmental rights in temporary society. Seeing the of a second portion of society, they have a central and conspicuous role in supporting society's progress, galvanizing its sustainable developmental advancement. Youth is uh, responsible for building the nation, transforming society, and making it fair and noble. Youth can improve the community and culture of society and renew impetus in leadership. The youth has uh, the urge uh, to innovation and dynamism to participate actively and meaningfully in politics and advocate for good governance. As Cameron celebrates his 70th day, we seek to assess the role of the young people in nation building and the lack of young people in leadership positions. Should it be blamed on the young people or the old believe that young people are displaced or not prepared? But it be a, an image. The youth has urged them not to lose the country and to have confidence in the future. Stay with us. This is the Pan-African Debate. Hello and thanks for joining us today on your Pan-African Television of India. It's uh, the Pan-African Debate uh, this day, 11th of February uh, 2023, as Cameron celebrates 57th edition of the youth. We'll see to look at why young people are lacking leadership position, role of young people in nation building, and equally present best message to young people. That's our topic of discussion for today. We thank you very much for always choosing to be part of your Pan-African Television at Freak Media. We invite you to stay with us and you shall equally have the opportunity to share your opinions with us uh, when the line will be open for you to call us directly. The numbers will be on your screen. You can call us directly on WhatsApp and send us your contribution as well as you following us on Facebook Live. You can as well leave us a comment there. We'll have time. We're going to read uh, your comments. Thanks again for being there. On today's program, we are pleased to be joined uh, by Dr. Ako John. He is the lecturer and Nicole Political Doctor. Welcome to the program and happy youth day as Cameron celebrates the 57th edition of the youth day. Yeah, it's a pleasure once more again. Talking Cameroon, talking Africa, and somewhere we equally think that the governance that Cameroon is it's not different from what other African youths are going through. Uh -huh. The governance in Cameroon and the position of youths has never changed. When you look at Africa, when you look at Cameroon, you'll realize that those who have been in power, those who were trained from what we call the colonial schools, and today they are still holding tight power. People still believe that it's only in Cameroon and even in some few African countries that the youth are not prepared to govern and that the, 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 the politics is to discourage them and keep them distant away, if not away from power. Power which everybody thinks is always at the center of governance, and that governance today has been very precarious. Some countries think that the Cameroon aspect is linked to the La Francophonie practice that those who are coming from French schools are better off than those who were trained at home. And so a host and many others who were French-oriented youths assimilated in all its dynamics still remain in power today and still call themselves youths. It is so sad that for over 70 years, Africa is still leaning, Cameroon is leaning, and that the youths have become simply impetus, propaganda agents of state and governance, political parties, uh, strategic initiative. And so a lot of the youth who are presently in Cameroon remain and clappers, choristers, and why not praise singers of what governance is, but they can't and have never had the mind of participating. For touch him not my power, for the power of the state belongs to the king, and only the king determines who take what part of that power within governance. Is the governance perfect without the youths? Is there any nation that has developed without the youths? I remember sometime the president of the United States, uh, the Dick, um, Donovan said, Roosevelt said, once America great, once the youths are great, and which means that if we make the youths great, then the nation is great. What not when politics sent those youths to the villages, and many think that the place of the youths presently belongs to agriculture, and so politics is far for such groups of persons who make more than 60% of the entire population. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ako John. Thanks once again for accepting my invitation. We're going to have uh, time to discuss more regarding that topic uh, for today. We equally have, uh, we have uh, equally joining us is Mr. Robert Kedia, you communicator with uh, the Carmel Super Democratic Movement. Mr. Robert Kedia, thank you for joining us on the program. Our viewers, greetings to my co-panelists. Greetings to you and uh, the entire Freak Media Institution for giving us this uh, opportunity to come here and express uh, our views on current issues in our nation uh, with a positive intention on uh, promoting our nation, to a our nation to a better height. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Robert Kedia. We have equally Mr. Uh, Far Evis joining us. He is a journalist and political analyst. Mr. Far Evis, uh, thanks for accepting our invitation. 
Thanks very much for making it possible for me to be here today. It's a blessed day, I must say. Even when things are moving in a kangaroo system, in the kangaroo country, manned by the supporters of my friend Kedia. But then, um, it is also time that we give some greetings to the people of the village as usual, and to His Royal Majesty Dr. Fomiki Waters, and to the Royal Majesty, the phone of Baba Awan, uh, who is my second father and the phone of uh, Bafanji, who are equally uh, my parents in terms of uh, upholding the status quo of tradition. Away from that, I think um, we will be doing our own uh, modest contribution uh, to unfold exactly youths and the mantle of leadership and governance and the prospect they have. Of course, I listen to the head of state who talks about they should be hopeful uh, for that days ahead, which is a statement said to be in a sham presentation with just no hope for the youths. I repeat, just no hope for the youths. So youths, know that you are on your own. Thank you. And mantle of leadership and governance or prospects. Thank you very much. The uh, five is uh, that's a topic of discussion for uh, today's uh, program. Uh, Dr. Akujon, uh, youth uh, and mantle of leadership and governance. We started up with already uh, a package of analysis regarding the position of youth in society, youth nation building, youth in politics, youth in the socio political and economic development of the nation. Uh, what positions do the youth? Let's begin generally in Africa occupy, considering that. 60% of the population in Africa I mean, of, of the youths are they actually resourceful considering their number? Yeah, when you realize it is at times quality not enough, but when you see in Africa there's a lot of politics that intend to push the youths far mm -hmm. from politics. Others feel that the youths have become great participants and I can call social media animators. Mm -hmm. Social media animators, that is the reason why there is network. The phones have become very cheap. And so for you to get them confused, you have to bring down the prices of phone and network and internet, make that to them so that they are no longer interested in anything. Mm -hmm. For those of us who are tutors and even teachers of higher education, it becomes so sad that maybe you find a group of youths who are thinking mm -hmm. that their place is in school. I'm telling you that education was used to equally to, 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 to man and reduce the ambitions of a lot of youth and thinking that since in school they can do any other thing and we expect that a school center should be the base of reasoning it should be the base if there is any form of emission by 2035 set by the agenda of the president of the public but when you find several times professors being intimidated and others being kicked out of political parties because of their reasoning is it really poor that the youth who have been taught by these same teachers feel concern and even for politics when senior lecturers of their caliber who stands in front of them and give lectures have been intimidated on a daily basis. We are just talking youth participation, nation building, leadership, and even governance. We, as we have just seen the, 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 the assassination of Martinez Zogo, a youth leader in investigation journalism who has been caught within his own very profession. It becomes very very, very intimidating. For those who are even aspiring to be good journalists in Cameroon, we have seen journalists that have presented facts. In fact, several reports in Europe have been at the center of changing leadership, meaning a, a result like that of Martinez, who and even helped the nation to bring on an old machinery that has been set. We have seen that in the UK, we have seen reports in France, we have seen uh, things in the United States where leadership can be brought down by simple investigation, not looking at who wants we I believe you have heard of what we call Watergate mm -hmm. and a lot of such incidents that have happened in Europe. We have heard of the Can Gate, we have heard of the COVID Gate, but in Cameroon there have been no actions. These issues are issues that tend to drill the witches and uh, dreams of the youth. The youths are thinking that if governance is to be that part of governance, they should be included in governance. How many leaders, how many governors we are proud of calling them youths, how many ministers are, we are proud in Cameroon of calling them youths, how many leaders of political parties with real political position, if not a sponsored fragmentation of the political landscape in Cameroon. When it, be, it becomes so normal that we have seen them today, the youths have much in their numbers all over the national territory, but you ask themselves, is this just a part political propaganda because the masters, when you see it, it's a lie. If you did give it to this, when you ask them, are those youths really from a part of this politics? Are they from a part of the same governance? How many of those youths were in the tribune? The president of maybe this sat at that, this very day, swing their fellow brothers or sisters, much past before them. You realize that in Cameroon, the, the principle that you are the elders of tomorrow has simply become a fake or a vacant propaganda because the elders have refused to leave and others who were supposed to be kindreds and maybe kingsmen in their various community have decided to maybe take 
postage some offices. When you grow up in such a system, try look at the position of the president as meaning President Bodia. I said sometimes what person asks who is the president Bodia of Nigeria? Meaning such a child has grown up to know that the name President Bodia is equivalent to who is the president. Because since he or she grew up, he has never seen any other person added to it. Can we believe? From the moment we cannot see changes at top governmental levels, it means that there is a total, total frustration of those aspire to equate us. When we were in secondary school, we were top democracy, we were greeted as the first class delegates and all the life within the school campus. It used to be a fierce election and very cool. I mean, a difficult standard should you see the same as senior prefect for even more than three years. Which tells us somewhere there is always a need for change, and that change means one of the most constant things we have in nature. But when we come to such nations, when leadership is stilled, then development is equally stalked. We need to look at the interface. Can we change? Some people have equally said that they cannot change because there is nobody. They have seen nobody to take after them. The moment we cannot have somebody to take after us, it is first failure. The moment you are a leader, have it in mind that the nation and the position that you hold is alternative. Alternative in the sense that somebody else can hold that very position tomorrow. Have you prepared one? But when you begin to accuse all those who are around you as bad individuals, a lot of them now serve in college. And you ask yourself, if in a whole football team, all the other 10 players have failed, and the captain tells you that he's the only right person, is that true? Does that principle hold true? Is a, a state institution capable of sanctioning the captain of such a team? If we cannot sanction those who are in the position of leadership, then it is an aspect of the failure of the leadership that we have. Institutions need to be independent. Institutions need to be stronger than humans. But when you get into a governance aspect where the institutions are weak and the individuals are powerful, meaning we have powerful men and weak institutions. This is where we find ourselves. The constitution is touched at any time. Prices and taxes can be increased without looking at what other institutions' perspective may and what other Cameroonians will think. You look at the cost of living in Cameroon today. We are being fed. The moment there was war in Russia and Ukraine, everything was linked. In a nation for 70 years, we don't have electricity. We have no confidence in water. We have no confidence in feeding ourselves. Then who have we been serving? There is a problem and there is a need for the youth. There are certain debates when you look at international forum, you, uh, international forum, you realize that some others, people feel that this is a need. That at some age, at some age, you are not supposed to govern. At some age, the energy, the thoughts, the, 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 the force behind mm -hmm. might have dropped. And there is an age where people are advised to work. We are available, and I have said several times, there is a need that whosoever, wheresoever, when the system is honest, youth must, in the same proportion mm -hmm. as their population, occupy similar uh, governmental positions. Okay. Can politics guarantee that at the level of the National Assembly, we should have 60% youth. At the level of the Senate, we should have 60% youth. At the level of the Cabinet of Ministers, we have 60% of the youth. And then we see how the nation moves forward. Right. There are parliamentarians abroad at age 23. There are prime ministers in other nations, 32. There are leaders at age 40. Can we be proud that such nations have not failed and that they are equally growing and growing very strong? All right. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Akojun. Just like you advocate for women representation, in leadership and politics, certainly, you should advocate as well for youth, youth participation as well. Okay, uh, Mr. Robert Skedia, look at you look at the politics in Africa, Cameroon as a whole. Do you think the political landscape favors young people, and do you see young people actually participating uh, as they are supposed to, with regards to their uh, percentage or number? Sixty percent of uh, population in Africa, young people, are they actually involved in politics like they should? Firstly, of politics with regard to the three age group we have only two age group that is involved in politics we have the youthful population and the age population now it is uh, supposed to be very, very clear to all youth that uh, politics is not uh, a job or a question that you sit in your house and you are called from home and uh, serve it on the peace politics is how you decide to be active in it and how you decide to go up the ladder to make yourself known politics is all about you having your popularity and to be able to convince people to buy your view and when your view are bought by the people you definitely have the popularity to go up the way you want another aspect which i also know that is really hampering youth is the financial perspective of uh 
one of the cri because when we talk about uh, being a politician, there are many criteria, and so one of them is the financial perspective, which really uh, youth are lacking in Africa. But those with uh, better ideologies, when they sell them, people come uh, around and uh, support them. But uh, what we are talking about youth, actually, I would not like to pay my attention to talk only about the political perspective, because we have social, we have economic before or the political perspective. And our youth definitely are doing great when it comes to the social and the economic perspective before the political aspect. At the level of sport, we see uh, the most powerful person in Cameroon is Cameroon uh, in the world. The most powerful person in the world is a Cameroonian at the level of football and all the other sport perspective. Even at the level of creation, economic and the rest. And the president of the republic have always made the youth because uh, actually with such a uh, program, I would like to sensitize the youth or giving them education for them to understand that it's not all about them being in the government, it's not all about them being civil servants in the country, but there are other perspectives that can make them even go and stronger. If you decide to invest or to go into agriculture, definitely uh, you have more resources that will permit him to engage in politics. When we talk about uh, politics in Cameroon, actually I will see that the youth are doing more better as compared to other countries we all know around us. Talking about Nigeria, Talking about uh, Central Africa Republic of Chad, you realize that it's in Cameroon definitely have their, their place. Now, we should be able to distinguish between youth not being minister and youth not being part of the political scene or part of the government. Because in the government of Cameroon, looking at those working, definitely the youth have more place than the age in our country today. And when we talk about you, we first of all know the age difference because one of my colleagues just called a journalist that was assassinated at the age of 50 years as a youth. So you realize that there is this uh, confusion among who is a youth and the age disparity to say this person is a youth. I, I said to all Cameroonians watching us that it is true. We do not have a minister in Cameroon that is a youth, that is someone below 32 years. But it is wrong for us to say majority of our government workers are not youth. That is where I uh, beg to differ with my co panelists that youth are actually there. And even you go at the level of uh, politics, because when we talk about politics, we talk about uh, elected uh, positions and political parties. And definitely, we do have youth in these political parties that are actually doing their best to go up uh, the ladder. And I still say, most of the problem, because I am a youth and I understand youth in politics very well, most of the problem us youth we have is the financial perspective to make ourselves to be known in the political scene of our country. But we should, uh, youth should also know that engagement and success mostly is in the private sector, is in the economic sector, which I believe the youth should engage in it. And not to be carried away with those that think that it's all about politics and those that will make their political marketing to insult institutions and the rest. But rather, I prefer youth should be empowered. And if youth are be the easiest way to empower youth is at uh, the economic sector and the social sector, which is very open and hard. Whereas in the political sector, you realize that we do have mayors, we do have senators, we do have uh, uh, parliamentarians. And when you look at the number of these elected positions and population that occupy this elected position, they are not more than 5% um, of the population of the country. And there is a fixed number with regard to elected position that cannot be changed or increased. But with the economic sector, everybody has the possibility to make it and survive in the economic sector. Everybody has the possibility to make it and survive in the social domain. So as we are asking you to engage in politics, we should also make you to understand that there is a vast open field in the economic and the social do domain that can give them resources to be able to carry out uh, politics. Now, it is true when my co-panelist was saying that there are counties that you go, especially in the West, where you have prime ministers that most of them are women, most of them are in their 40s. And I even want to add with regards to what he said, there is, um, there is a municipality in the USA where the mayor there is 18 years. Mm -hmm. Of course, that is my wish, that we should have mayors of 18 years in my country. But uh, those youths, they have their ideologies and they are being sponsored and support by their party and financially because for you to gain an electoral position you must belong to a particular political party and you must be financed for you to attain that now the possibility of convincing the rich bourgeoisie to support you to have that political position is really difficult uh, in africa as compared to america so the youth should think about their family, how to go into the economic sector to have your finances and to be able to engage politics because i will not come here and deceive any youth 
that the uh, uh, as other will say that uh, the electoral position the institution the this is all bad in the country so they can't survive no even if those are 100 percent uh, 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 effective they still need that finances to carry out their political perspective because even in Europe, mm. you realize that Donald Trump raised billions to be able to be elected. Before you go in for an elected position, you should have the finances to be able to do your campaign and be elected. And that is where our youth are lacking, which I still ask some of them to engage in uh, economic activities, engage in agriculture and other activities, be able to have the resources to carry out their political agenda if they want to be elected official. Because election Cameroon, we know the document that is needed. We know uh, that you need to belong to a political party. But how do you say your ideology when you don't have money? So that is where the problem is. It's not about institutions. It's not about all this. The mayor that was elected 18 years in the USA have the institution that have backed him financially to support him to for him to attain that elected uh, position. Okay. So here you need to engage in economic activity, gain resources so that we can carry out our political agenda. But to conclude, I will say we have a vast open uh, 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 economic domain which everybody can survive in. We have the vast open social domain sport and the rest music which we have many youth involving in music sport film acting and the rest which youth are definitely doing their way but with the political perspective there is a static fixed number of senators that are needed parliamentarians mayor that are needed which no it is not open like the social and the other domain so they are to carry on economic activity to finance their political agenda okay thank you very much uh, mr robert skidia uh mr five this is a journalist and political analyst uh robert skidia highlights the fact that uh, the aspect of finance is what is causing the low participation of young people in politics in your opinion do you think it's all about financing or it's the arts fair is conducive enough for young people before uh, finance is uh, lacking i have listened to him keenly carefully and very very attentive that's why i say sometimes when we come on air we speak very juicy and sweet words as if it is an easy going matter a man from a kangaroo system is a man from a kangaroo system from the way they speak. And that's why when you look at where Keja talks, he will tell you there's a vast, you know, there's a vast opportunity, you know? That's all their grammar. Mm -hmm. There's a vast opportunity at a level of agriculture, the level of this, and a lot of except politics. But the same Keja forgets to understand that Politics is primordial in determining the other factors or the other spheres of life. If you have political or wrong political leaders, their wrong mentality affects the economic, social, religious right down. These are things that Kenya should be able to tell people that this thing is right here or it is wrong here. Not talking sweet. It doesn't matter. May I remind those who are watching us from Yaounde and the friends of Kenya? that a country that lies on expired people people who have lived their life and can still be useful at the level of technical advising and not at the center of taking decisions means that country is bound to fail and is heading towards doom. in fact comes already in doom that is the reason why i say when we come honesty is what takes us because intelligent persons listen to us Kedja acknowledges that political chances are not there, but the vast economic, vast all and this and that. I have told an agripreneur in one of the groups we are, who blew grandma that has vast land for agriculture, so he sees nothing why he's feeling unemployed. These are misguided discussions, misguided phrases. A real Cameroonian should know that agriculture entails money. They are not unless you want to do artisanal farming if you want to be a culturalist i have visited uh late senator achidi achu may he still rest in perfect peace mm -hmm. and Sadi Raj. the mechanized agriculture you see on the Sadi Raj there at my tooth in santa there's no power who can invent involve that kind of agriculture it doesn't go and so at the end if my co talks about the problem is finance. Yes, I accept. Why is the problem finance? Because the old guards have refused to make it possible for the youth to have access to finance for fear that they might become empowered economically 
and will be a challenge to their hegemony. That is a fact we should mention here, clean and clear. In the kangaroo system, when it comes to politics, look at the entire election. How many youths, as I speak now, are there? Southwest old guards have refused to quit. The old guards in the southwest region have refused to quit. So even the new ones who wanted to feature in, even if they are old, they said, no, we don't have space for you people. And that's why when Sinead is going on, you see senators sleeping. What are their ages? Look at their age range. They will tell you we have junior parliamentarians, junior senators. Ages has come. They will come and concoct some few persons around. Uh, of recent in Yaoundé, we had junior parliamentarians at the National Assembly of recent in Yaoundé. And they said we are empowering them. They are not on salary. They don't have a say. They cannot do anything. They don't have anything. They said they are grooming them up. See how they deceive Cameroonians. And they come and tell us, Grandma, how you know uh, the list are uh, at least of tomorrow. I listened to the speech of the head of state and I was marveled because nothing new came out of it. Apart from telling youth, we know times ahead. You just have to stay on. How long will the youth stay on? I'm above the age of being called youth. When I was growing up, I was told that we are the leaders of tomorrow. If I hear anybody give that statement besides me, I give you a dirty slap. I give you a dirty slap. Because those were policy slogans manned by the kangaroo system that deceived us until today. My age of being a youth has, has passed me and they are still telling me that, wait, you see where we are. And this is why I say that those who eat their sardine and bread, you can determine from the way they make their utterances. Why will the youth lack finance? That's the question. Why will, uh, why will you go to Rwanda? And you describe the president is making sure that youths get empowered, they develop the theological sector, and youths are trying to develop mobile phones and all the like. Why come to Cameroon? I tell you that the leaders of this country are not serious because almost 75% of the leaders in this country have schooled abroad. They know what we what they mean by empowering youths. They know. Maybe if Kenya has never come to Guinea or the borders of a cop, she know that youths out of this area. When you use a wrong example to justify where we are, it doesn't speak well in terms of analysis. Because he says youth in Cameroon are well placed if you compare them to. Why should we compare with wrong examples? Why can't we compare with positive examples like the case we are talking about a male age 18? Those are things that people tell us up. So at the end of it, when you tell Cameroon that we have power failure, Kenyans will tell you no. Nigeria with their neighbor is worse than Cameroon. You see, they become contented. To them, because this country is worse than us. But look at the components that make up, look at the, the sociological and theological components that make up a country. They're different. The resources we have, varied resources, cannot be controlled, can be controlled with a country that can count two or three resources. Cameroon is as rich in terms of resources with so many untapped resources. You go to Mkambe, Donga Manto, there are a handful of them there. Bogzad, Copper, all the like. People should do research. You go to the East, a handful of them. That's why you have an artisanal gold mining in the East. And the government will provide a black market. Because in the course of bringing up these extractive industries to be well in order, it will more use to be empowered, more use to be employed, and they will become, you know, everyone's money is in the Latin. So they know the game playing. That's why they'll blow all grammar. When it comes to politics, the Kedias will run the part of rigging. The Kedias will run errands for all that senators, all guard parliamentarians, and dubious parliamentarians. The KDS, who is my very good friend, and that will live together, will run errands for mayors and whosoever. I don't ask him, but that I do it for you so. Who's the one position there? They don't ask those things. So, once youths are not getting the right direction in terms of political decision, the youths and man governance has no future. Let no youth in this country think that the government means this for them because. All the small projects, Page E, Minister of Youth Affairs, the small projects uh, for 2 million, 3 million, Minister of Agriculture, are not enough to empower youth. Why can't they not take giant projects? I, I was expecting the head to tell us that there is a creation of a youth bank to take care of financing giant youth projects. And not three uh, years plan, five years plan for youth. When you say five years plan, five years plan, some of those youth are no longer youth again. You get another children who get into the youthful stage, again, you give another slogan. 10 years plan before it gets in, they are already matured and all of us are old. So at the end, the Cameroonian youths, anybody who analyzes Cameroonian youths and compares to another country, is not a serious man being in terms of negativity. Okay. But if you compare in terms of positivity, that is what we call analysis 
that can spur us to get to work. So, at the end of it, Luis, the governor's issue, I will tell you categorically, why would Cameroon government refuse to get into the government sector high positions? I got my co panelists talked about the fact that one of the co panelists or the doctor uh, who mentioned about uh, the, the issue of uh, youth not uh, being employed in the government sector. I said, no, um, it should be that the youth are, uh, are in this, uh, the government sector. Problem is this and that. No. What the doctor is saying is good because the government sector to feel the youth is when they are in leadership. Mm -hmm. Because if you put vibrant, positive thinking youth, not political compensation youth, into government position, the end result is that they will intend to put in place young and vibrant ideas that will keep Cameroon's economy moving. We are not at that. How many ministers do we have? How many of them are youths? How many of them are dying? How many of them are keeping white, white meetings are going on? How many of them come to National Assembly? At the opening of the message is coming. I will take Mr. Kedia to the Assembly. Let us watch the opening. How many of them, after 30 minutes of discourse, fall asleep at the National Assembly in Yaoundé? Okay. African ministers were talking about. All right. So at the end of it, this is the time we think that the, the youth day celebration I'm talking about is a sham. Mm -hmm. It's a sham because they, 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 they deceive youth. I mean, imagine when I was small, we would sing songs, we would start one week before, running up and down, fire come fire, yam done, yam no done, I say pigeon. We are running up and down. The other day in Bonaberry, I was around in Bonaberry. They said, run, 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 block. Youth were shouting under the hot sun. And this is not going to be the future. A future where the leaders themselves are involved in cabal, cabal movement. What example is that give to the youth? If I want to follow the example, give me the example I follow. Kenja, give me the example. Uh, the leader is teaching me that you have power. Tell them don't leave power till you die. Is that, is that to the youth? That if I have power, you play with me, I want you, brought their life, to nowhere. Or you joke with me, the doctor comes in. There's a case in Bonaberry. They are the part of first instance. And what doing call goes is a matter of custody because some boy had money somewhere and she was accused of having had something to do with uh, some thousand dollars. Bam! So I went to the game yesterday. I mean, Nibel, six months, with her statement being by the officials at the court of first instance in Bonaberry. Is that the kind of youth you are telling me? That is a youth doing business at a boss. Yeah. So look at the situation. Everything is porous and is bad. And any little grammar about these issues, say youth, they say, in those days, you are good. But at the end, when you come out after school, no job, I told you, go for everything. I'm in employed, you start a business. Cars, cars, tax, but you're finished. The next time, Godfather, you can run business. Business is capital. These youths have ideas. Mr. Lewis, every step in your TV, I read the dogs. We have a few to develop Caterpillar and the plane fly. Where are they used today? Those are youths that people are embezzling money. I just want for whatever reason, killing people. But they put that money in a system to inject into technology and take these kind of youths and put them somewhere, give them proper technical education, and they begin to kill us cars and planes overnight. Why would Russia show example? Why would Africa show example? And Cameroon is limping. And we're talking about youths and the military and government. And the prospect is zero. But on the platform, a party tells you that the future is bright because the head of state said they have the future. Okay. This is a sacrilege. All right, Mr. Fire, Mr. Thank you very much. We got clearly now. Dr. Akonjohn, you equally highlighted uh, the aspect of you uh, so engaged on social media, which you describe as uh, uh, you being social media animators. Uh, the lack of uh, finance is what is uh, said back to young people. And equally, if participation at the level of uh, politics, uh, we were looking at the setbacks or the reasons why the youths are not into politics, social media animators lack of finance and yeah we tell you that i've seen and there's a lot of political leaders recruited uh, recruiting youths uh -huh. to manage their social media platforms uh -huh. i mean when youths are relegated to such positions where they can manage platforms for politicians yeah but the they cannot yeah. well, what I in politics. that was the politicians and all believe that the young people are not prepared that is what we are saying. Yeah. We are saying the same thing. The first thing, when we talk of lack of finance, mm -hmm. it, it, it gives us an idea that Cameroon is poor, that the money is not available. Mm -hmm. I want us to better use access to finance. Okay. Having access to, meaning it is somewhere. Mm -hmm. We are talking of COVID gate, where a lot of money has been squandered. Mm -hmm. We are talking of the can gate, a lot of mismanagement. Mm -hmm. Money put in such uh, avenues and others willed it to their private accounts yeah. it becomes an amount of money which shared to change the life of a whole nation do we have youth agenda uh, a youth agenda in this country even if it is two or three four five ten years period can assess the level of preparedness of the youths at each domain yeah. well Kedia is telling us here that youths are present because they are in social in social cultural they are doing well they are musicians they are musicians they are artists they are acting in the movie film industry they are doing well yeah. because somewhere he has not given to us 
where they are doing well within his own political party mm -hmm. and how they have gone with the access of youth within that party. Away from the fact that the party has what they call the youth win of the party, there is no other activity carried out by the youths of that party. They are the one that prepares when the big guns are going for visit. When they are doing politically, the youths are the ones to stand as our protocol officers. They guarantee your security in a village, the town where you are, until you leave. And now they continue supporting and maybe your guys name. They will come into alcoholism. So we have not even mentioned yeah. one of the greatest and the highest failure which this nation has made was liberalizing alcohol and again use engagement into drugs. We have seen a lot of incidents in schools where principals have been slapped by their own students mm -hmm. and some principals have been stabbed to death. The level of violence because the level of moral decadence. This reminds me of when the Pope Bia took power in 1982. He mentioned of rigor and moralization. It was hard for you to even stand and talk back to your chair. But today, it is ordinarily right that mm -hmm. youths have the courage to flock their own teacher. And we've also seen the fact that the Minister of uh, Education has equally banned the use of corporal punishment. Yes, now we want to be with the foreign guys, what they call civilized societies. That grown has been civilized. But what modalities have you taken mm -hmm. to make sure that these youths don't misbehave? We grew up in an environment where corporal punishment was the fear. The fear of corporal punishment is the fear of the law. Mm -hmm. And that is how we work in school. Our parents even put out in school so that we could be flocked more than enough time. Because at one level, you realize that the energy of the student home goes above that of the parents. And the parents cannot manage. Mm -hmm. I have seen a chief of the village reporting his children to the school authorities. And they were flocked in front of him because he cannot back them up in the house and flock them. And we realized that it was one of that character of deterrence, bringing the of deterrence of getting involved into certain negative acts. And today we have gone a lot, you know, going that that particular person, the professor at the level of secondary or basic education, they all feel like it is time when Cameroon has a line with international norms. Cameroon have signed a lot of conventions, corporal punishment, forced labor is no longer needed. But we have forgotten that there are equally families that are unable to eat. And so the mother thinks and feels that when they sell beignets in the morning, that's where they have their money to school. And so we should stop them from selling on the streets. When it comes to such a standard which we know that at times the economic level of the house, some people and parents are single parents. Managing children at times takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. They have an age. We call it lesson. When they get to that age, you need to pray that you also don't get that level of edginess. But then we use avenues like schools mm -hmm. for sanctioning. I had a period in school where I have to slap a child at the level of the university for misbehavior in front of the parents because telling a lie at home and my father coming to ask that are you in this level or the other level, the child was repeating that he's telling the parents that he's doing level three and bringing the child right to school that morning. I don't know what punishment I will give because in the university it is no longer previewed. We know that they are mature and that they can take responsibility. But when you lose up, I have to slap such a child in front of the parents. In fact, the next day, the child came back thanking me that I instead help him. He has never known how to break this particular silence to the mother that he is repeating level two. It comes at level when no matter the talking, at times the children don't care. After the talking, you go away and they will go their path. Imagine such that we are talking of engagement in politics, financing, and even why not leadership position. As the laws of this nation permit youths to just imagine, like mentioned here, Kedia would not tell us the contrary that those who were senators in the last mandate, in 90% of the regions, they have been maintained, meaning there are no people to take over after them. They are the best we have. And then you ask to what extent who were senators? What were they supposed to do? What have they done? What is left undone? Nobody has an accountability of those whom we have even elected to hold political office. Is it not a time for us to give confidence to some people so that we see the changes? I mean, well fully at the level of politics for those who are ruling. We are not saying that CPDM has to leave. But imagine today that Kenya was a candidate for a senatorial election for his region. It would have not been said that Cameroonians are celebrating already because what a CPDM candidate is proposed, he has won already. Yeah. You need to use a different spiritual manipulation so that they don't win. Yeah. So <laughs> these are some of the things. I would have been happy that I'm talking to a future senator. Mm. We have seen in this regime like China, a child 23 is a parliament in Hong Kong. And we think that it should arrive here too. That at 32, 30, you can be a minister. Yeah. All those are leaders today, 
could go in the case of Aijo. Some of the when abroad studied came back and were given top position. I mean, beginning with the head of it. The position he has occupied from which age to what it is now was a hope that the Aijo's regime has an idea for the youth. At 27, he was already an active state cabinet minister. That gives those youths who are going to school already that is hope. And that, that hope is that one day too, I will be at the presidency of the Republic. And we're very proud of that now. Get to the presidency of the Republic today from the advisors to the cabinet ministers to whosoever. Look at their ages. The list will not be less than 65. All of them live within a particular age. What future are we planning? Is there an interface of things? The moment the youths of the regime of Aido got to the elderly position, they break up the, ba the barrier. In fact, they build a barrier and break up all the bridges they have crossed. That there is no access to anybody which from them. They always say that, like you said, youths are not willing and they're not ready enough. They are flimsy political excuses so that they have their position cemented and they have keep on, kept on cementing such position. It becomes not evil for those who are not going to be particular camp because within the same government, you find camps with occultic groups and chains that when you are a member, you have to go and you find others who will be so frustrated following the party again for close to 40, 39 years and nothing is changing on their table too. So they became so frustrated, a lot of them went and formed their own small parties, then came back and negotiated again with the same ruling party to find what they call you presidential majority. So you find a group of people who were opposition, today they are presidential majority. There are about 20 political parties, there are 35 youth groups that said they are also in the presidential majority. And it, it, it worries. We have seen a co-panel of us here too. That was a regular panelist of Femeda today becoming a minister delegate. And so he too feels that it is only dining. He said, do not win him, then you join him. This is the politics we play. When you're so old and you have nothing to offer again, this is what politics is. There is a need for us to have a national agenda for youths. And if there's a national agenda for youths, there should be a national agenda of youth representation. This is what I'm saying in governance. Governance, cabinet ministers, senators, parliament. The moment a party does up to 60% of youths in his list, the list should be rejected. So we check right from Eleka. How many youths are on your list within proposed uh, uh, find of for parliaments or whatever? The governors, why not? The head of state should appoint those at 39. There is no age in ruling. It was still when such individuals with such ages have received high-level education in other environments. We have witnessed, like you said, in places like the U.S., people are 18. They are yes. And imagine a child 18 receiving popularity to be elected as a man. Why can't you do it here? And it is funny. Yes, I find people like Bell and Charles who went there around 1940 or 42. They were praised for being the youngest. And today, I don't think we are talking again of the same age. There is a need to revolutionize. And as we said, the younger you are, the more active you are, the more government works. When you find somebody like Emmanuel Macron in France, two days is in Ukraine, two days after is in Poland, three days is in Belgium, then you find somebody that the moment, any time he leaves the palace, there is a movement in the world because his movement is rare. You find so much time, difficulties in moving and participating in seminars and even delivering, delivering active and more resourceful speeches. We have seen that. When governments Divide speeches in university centers. In the United States, it happens. Because this, uh, this is the center of reasoning. The mm. politics were thinking, can we fight migration? Can we grow food that will help Cameroonians? You will see it at the University of Bamenda. You find University of Boya. You go to the University of Tank. A lot of such academic standards have ended up in laboratories. Whether a rat can be made blue or red, whether three plantains, a plantator can give birth to four big bunches. Mm. It remains at the laboratory, and we cannot practice it. That's why hunger remains one of the highest problems in Cameroon. Food prices are <laughs> skyrocketing. And I don't know that these elders who are have a lot of money. I admire somebody in Nigeria like Obasanjo who left power and involved himself into agriculture. You need to see what standard of agriculture we need to do. I don't know whether the president of the Republic when he talks of agriculture is thinking of having a hoe and a machete and get to forest. Mm. And that, that is the agriculture that will take Cameroon out of this mess. We need commercial and industrial agriculture. Mm -hmm. For you to get to that level, it needs a lot of engineers. Yeah, right. Because to get the farm work, you need engineers. To get the animals, given the right quality of meat, you need the engineer. For the birds, to get on the earth or whatever, you need engineers. And why not? We can conquer Africa, we can conquer well. Cameroon and Africa as a whole is still virgin 
in our domain. But if the right politics is not made, you cannot find 60% of the population inactive and you give maybe 10% to rule and man the whole nation. That is why we are failing. We need to recognize the role of the youths. We need access to finance. Finance should be available for politicians who have nothing or nothing to offer. And when youths' agendas and projects are made, they are relegated into singing and choristers. We need them to cut out their projects. There are a lot of youths with laudable initiatives. Like you just mentioned, we have seen children come up with caterpillars. We have seen youths come up with drones. We have seen youths with small aeroplanes and even uh, a kind of machines. Do we are talking of the Silicon Mountain in Boya, to what extent government loudly supported Silicon Mountain in Boya is compared and controlled now by some US based agencies telling you that there's already technology in this area. How can we even get there and stop them not to grow? Because if they grow, they become a competitor with other technology side. China has evolved today because of technology. If our nation is aware, the next world, the next world will be a computer oriented world. Are we prepared to control in this IT domain? If we yeah. are not, what are we doing? The nation. This is the main reason for the youths. Yeah. I told some students, computer came after some of us had left school and gone inside, but that has not stopped us from learning the basic computer skill. But it will be worse for you today to get for a job and you can manipulate the computer. Everybody, no matter your domain, you have to be computer literate. What are we doing? Are we orientating our students to the standard? Are we taking them to the level that we get them of the standards that we need that our country to evolve. We can control temperature by a computer. We can control the robot talking and machine everywhere by a computer. Get to huge industrial setup. I mean like Sonara and see what a computer can do. A computer is capable of controlling pressure within the pipes. And that is the type of level which we need to. The of a numerical economy, Cameron has invested a lot. Optical fiber from Brazil to here, even though the projects were all propaganda projects. Because the G4, G5, G3, we don't know where finally we are. That is G4, we G3. Because we don't even know. Nothing has changed in communication. We still have the fainted network all over. Can we really be honest and give this access and get the skill? What does this save a nation in investing on political agenda, but not on manpower? There is a need for us to get the youths active. I cannot work a computer. The elderly people cannot work. The youths will do it. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Akko John. Uh, just like we can copy from the West to abolish corporal punishment, we can also copy from the West to impose or put young people in leadership positions, just like the West is doing. Uh, Mr. Robert Kedia, for more than 40 years of Cameroonian youths who were told uh, uh, that they are the leaders of tomorrow have been under uh, the leadership of just one person for more than 40 years. To you, when you look at the system which these young people have, you know, grown into and they are still into under just one leadership. What do you assess as the future uh, prospect of young people in politics and occupying such positions in the country? That depends on the definition of uh, leaders of tomorrow. Because when you tell me that uh, youth were told they'll be leaders of tomorrow and today they are still under one leadership, that is one person ruling the country. Are you saying that? Uh, when youth were told their leaders tomorrow, it means that all the youth of Cameroon will become the president of the republic? No. When we say youth are the leaders of tomorrow, which is a statement that I don't buy now anymore mm -hmm. because I'm one of those that believe that the youth are leaders of today and no longer tomorrow. I want to talk about leadership. I still make it very, very clear. Be it, uh, being a leader does not mean you'll be the president of the republic. Mm -hmm. However, it will be a joy for me to have a youth that is president in the country. It will even be much more of a joy, even at the level of uh, ministries, as my co-panelists were saying, that at least even the minister of youth should be a youth. You know, you say it's going to be a joy to see that happen. What we are saying is, it's, it's what we are saying is, being a leader of tomorrow, as that statement means, there are many perspectives of being a leader. Being a leader does not mean president of the republic. I know of many youths today that they have launched their party they are below 36 years and want to run in for the post of president. There are many of them. Those youth are there. They are already doing their uh, 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 perspective of how to have their finances and how to go about it. We know many of them. Some are in the forum that we see them. Very young and vibrant youth, which will support them. Now, when a youth has an agenda, what we should do is empower them and no longer come and tell them that the situation is very bad. The situation is very bad. They cannot. Some people up have decided no. That is not the education our youth should know. But what all I'm saying is that being in, being a leader does not mean you'll be the hem of the republic. 
does not only mean that if we know of many youths that are ceo that own their companies today they are youth no many uh, youths today that uh, are in the sporting activity that they are leader and they control and they empower their own brother fellow brother youth so we should not look this leader only in the perspective of uh, uh, the government there are other perspectives now it is also true that our um, when we talk about uh, gov uh, leaders uh, with regards to the topic the topic is talking about leaders in government so i believe that's why we are paying more attention at the level of uh, politics and i see say, there are many youth that are engaged in that now it is also true that we are Cameroonians. we have that uh, uh, power to say that okay fine we are revanchating with the government that this is what we want this is what we want because by the law the youth are permitted to become a senator in the republic of cameroon which is something that we all do and uh, i can't blame government in place the president of the republic because that was definitely voted by the parliamentarians which we are supposed to tell them that fine we want our youths to be part of the senate another perspective too that we youths we are also decrying is the perspective that uh, below 18 years in 18 years you cannot vote in cameroon and we see somebody being a mayor at the age of 18 years he's already a mayor he uh, he can vote and he has even been voted those are the perspective that we are crying to ask for reforms uh, reforms are definitely out there because the country is progressing and reforms will definitely take place. And everyone asking for a reform, there is no problem. We are a democracy that we think we can ask for reform anytime. If anybody comes up to say, uh, fine, the constitution does not permit a, uh, someone of 25 years to become a, a senator, I think that we need reform. That will be supported by youth. And that is what us, the youth, we are doing. And many of us, we are saying, no matter political party, I am of the uh, ruling CPG, and it will be a that people of 18 years can vote. It is a joy that somebody of 21 years can be senator. So those are things that we are asking for reforms. And all country live based on reform, constitutional amendment, and things keep on progressing. So rather we should talk about reforms that we want, that is rather than talking about perspective of condemning and insulting, because even President of the Republic in his speech, he said that he knows the situation of youth, and he asked them not to give up. It is not only in Cameroon, it's all over. He even went further to cry that the, 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 the mortar roads of going to Europe through the sea and other perspective. And even asked them to drop away from smoking of marijuana and the other perspective. And even went further to tell them that they can engage in social media and use of the internet for positive gain and no longer negative gain. Now when the president of the republic talk about agriculture, many countries that rely on agriculture are not crying now. But those that rely on oil are crying. And I would like to tell my co-panelists that was talking about uh, that the president might think that uh, major into agriculture is all about holding a knife and uh, a canvas and a hook. Uh, my dear panelists, you are actually wrong because uh, President Obia is into agricultural farming and everybody knows in Cameroon. Him being a president, he has his job and everybody knows his plantation in the south region of Cameroon in which uh, many people are being employed. Except that if we are ignorant, uh, many people know about it. So when the president talked about agriculture, he's 100% uh, aware and asked youth to involve in agriculture. Secondly, my co-panelist talked about uh, the fact that uh, youth should involve in technology, in Rwanda it is there. That is what I'm saying. The other aspect that they can involve are not in politics. And I will go further that we have a lecturer in the university here that can testify with me that hundreds of Cameroonians have been given scholarship to study abroad. And that is what the government is doing. Now, one of the aspects in which at time I weep and I even try to talk to our fellow youths that have been given scholarship, they go abroad and they don't come back because I don't understand why the country should trust you, give you an opportunity to go and study abroad, you go and study abroad and you refuse to come back. To come back. But those are the things that the government is doing to ensure that our youth engage in scholarship, study more of politics and know how to engage in it. So we still go back to SN to tell youths that we have to have space in the economy many of my panelists have talked of technology internet uh, phone creation and that perspective and that is what i'm asking them to engage in all right into politics i just want youths to know that if you have an ideology you get your sponsor you will get your position politics actually is for those that are financially fit if you are not financially fit you have an ideology you should be able to have sponsor i want to have sponsors automatically you are financially fit Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Robert Skidia. Uh, Mr. Five is President Bias told the youth not to give up, told them not to engage in illegal migration, and uh, he called it told that the youth can count on them. Now, this is what many youths are saying. Uh, those who are growing up met President Bia in power, 
you know, President Bia told them to count on me. Now, those youth have had children, and this message of count on me is it for, still for the young people who already gone out of age. And count on me again is a message which President Bia, you know, is sending out to the young people. Now, uh, just before we ask the question, I just want to remind those watching that you can send us your reactions. The number will be put on the screen for you to send us your calls. We can keep calls, just your calls only uh, through the WhatsApp number. We'll, we'll equally like to hear from you. So, Mr. Fires. Any youth counting on that statement failed on arrival. Any youth mm. that got that statement, please count on me. That one failed since 1922. Because these are just mere slogans. Every day count on me. And that's the issue. How long shall we keep counting? Head of state talked about you should not go abroad, blah, 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 blah. The question is, are you putting in place governmental, governmental measures to make Cameroon heaven for Cameroonians? No. Cameroon is only made heaven for the few who sing the song of those that are playing the tambu. Finish. Kenya can sing a song here. Because at the end of it, he can have a peanut or a salad and he has no problem. That was that this kind of person who gave this who give this statement mean, they mean worst and dead to some of you listening. They don't have anything to offer. Absolutely nothing. That head of state tells you, let's not cross the Mediterranean. As if what is left here at home is better off. If some of us stood here, just like doctor, it's because we have said better, one man die for here. But the question is, we don't have equal strength. We have the resistance. Others will not have. And so if you make a statement that people should go, what alternative are you giving to them? Let me ask those in Yaoundé. There was a creation of small and medium-sized enterprise bank. It's still there. Around the office of the Minister of Employment and Vocational Training. It's there. Let any Cameroonian call this number on the screen and tell us what that bank has done. Small and medium-sized enterprise bank. If it is a bank that is created to maybe satisfy CPDM accolades, what has that bank done to Cameroonians? We are good at retreats. For implementation, zero. Thousands of Cameroonians have been molested in the Middle East, Dubai, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. Many of our guests used as sex slaves, others killed, and they died under unclear circumstances. Why? Because they are running out for green pastures. Both in Malay Airport every night. Between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning. Look at the planes that are taking off. Count how many youths are, 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 are on the line. Few. Get in. The same thing at the Dwight International Airport. Now, these are the ones that are managed to go by flight. Go to our borders from QC from the, uh, from, from the eastern region into Bata, Equatorial Guinea, OEM in Gabon. See how many of them are moving. Look at how many Cameroonians are now in Rwanda, including visitors and law. They are back to the profession as long as they are and moving back to undergo another commission that will end up being entered into the bar council out there in Rwanda. Is it that we have been cursed? Where have we gone wrong that leaders have decided that no use the life day until they die? If they don't die, we stay on. And they get their song birds and around them who keep on singing songs on their behalf and sing all is well. If I were like those youths singing those songs, one day I will ask the minister, boss, where's my position? They cannot ask because they have, they have reduced themselves to crumbs. As you blow grammar, you go and take 5,000, 10,000. When President Paul Bia had his acting in the US of recent, and the whole issue was about what transpired there. Youth in Congo that are watching me, 1,000, 2,000 from the people of Bia went on the street saying, we are calling on the head of state to start giving another presidential election, just as India will do. When I say that people have been enslaved mentally, this is mental enslavement that does not need to call a soothsayer. That why would I support somebody who is barely moving like a robot? Without me asking, I say, can I too not be there? It means you should be brought the line. And you ask yourself, 
the people are supporting this old guard. What is the position? No position. A man is a principal somewhere. He's happy. The son of that very man, that old guard, is a is is is, is a director somewhere. At the end of it, he will see the soap and down. The, the man who comes who, who, who comes the shot will only get the he donate program. He, 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 he. And so they understood that if youth become empowered economically, they are finished. And that's why when we go out for campaigns, you discover that they will gather youth because they're vulnerable and give them peanuts. Give them that if you go and vote, bring ballot paper, you collect 10,000 francs here. You do this, you collect 5,000 francs. And when you collect it, that's why I said that in a serious country, take Finland, Scandinavian countries, Holland, Denmark, you don't drink alcohol random. Without, if it's not working as, you get penalized. Then you see a prime minister, as young as 35 years, trekking or on a bicycle, riding to go to the office. For us here, do, if they don't block the whole road from here to Bonaberry, we will not know that a governor is passing. We have misplacement of priorities. Any youth I see you celebrating 11 February, something is wrong in your head. Because those are days normally a youth sit back at home. I said, but I'm going out to celebrate like that. My end of the celebrity as a day. Where are they now? Is it enough that you have a magical number? I start collecting 82,000 francs. Another person collects 1 or 2,000 francs. With the stocking prices of oil, all these basic commodities, cooking oil, uh, we talk about uh, milk, sugar, and all the like. How do you that kind of thing? But nobody is making mention of that for those who fit for those who And the other thing when they change, those are picking up crumbs, will even live to enjoy more. They don't understand that. Because their brains have been, have been forwarded and made to look at the state of only begging, only begging. There we are. At how many youth climb up yet into the in, into the civil service? Because we have a wrong government policy that is civil service. Budget. They will tell you they will blow you But at the end of it, they are not putting the right education system to be used for about uh, uh, uh getting to civil service like in Nigeria. In Nigeria, you launch you, you launch what is what is called a competitive entrance examination. You don't have to go scrambling into it because as the youth grow up, the system tells that the country is difficult. So start trying to hustle to the business line. And then have all these issues where we have a problem here that you will see that a small business guy will get a business, next day you are not going. You have young, incompetent persons who get into a now magistracy and they pass wrong judgment and affect youths, affect their business. Persons are there, you begin a small business, they come and land tax there. Call box, they want to sell it. You are, you are, you are most people are not signed, they come and ask you to pay tax. So where are we going to? Hmm. This is a misplaced priority that any youth who does not rise to prison and they deceive you, that the motto of February is this and this and that, this and that, entrepreneurship and other like. Which entrepreneurship? Those youths. But even the technological universities and the, uh, uh, and the universities, or professional universities, are still lacking. Why would a university be running professional courses on entrepreneurship, on technology, and other like? And the government cannot assist that university build up technological labs. I tell you, like what Dr. said, we have technology in theory. That a professor of physics, University of Boya, professor of physics, University of Chang, Cannot discover something relating to physics and science. But he, he has books that are his intro role, that is reading. He's putting from first page to last page. Is that a professor? We call them shit whole professors. Mm. Because the country has not made them to come out of that field that, hey, if I'm a professor, come to heaven. What do I do? Can I begin to do discovery? Not books. In our country, they can't just celebrate professors at the level of books writing. If you write books when practical is absent, where are you heading to? We should go for a copy. We don't even need to write books. Just discover an iPhone. Discover an application that they put somewhere. And then people begin to do on it. Lives are changing. Someone uh, uh, to, to consult. He's not going to ask me to stand there. The phone is there. He just put an application and he consults. They tell him, buy these drugs, buy these buy, buy this drugs. In his phone, they pay maybe 200 francs from his data. For, for, for his data for consulting. That makes life easy going. Why do we think that we must only live on wrong examples for us to survive? It means that something is wrong with us. Look at a whole scholarship scheme that Nigeria is saying. What are the Nigerians giving for scholarship? Do we have follow up for the scholarships? Scholarships not blow grammar. We have given scholarship to uh, to to, to five hundred students every year. No, you give the scholarship and you are not you don't have a proper follow up. It means that something is wrong because as you give me scholarship, I'm going to Britain, have a university. After this, I should be able to come back and put in place what you have given. My own mother studied in Britain. When she came back after living here, she came back. She could not be elevated equal to her status. Because she was not in a ruling party in a ruling gang. So how do you blame how do that kind of person who goes out and comes back in and expect to be to be updated in, even in the civil service and they tell you I can't go over voir? So at the end, what is the essence of the scholarships I'm talking about? We have deviated. You go to Boyam 
uh, the school of agriculture, technology, and other life. What is there practically with all the vast piece of land we have there? You cannot come one that you, you, they tell you that the students have discovered a way of making tomatoes grow in, in five shoes, giving you this production with this number of tests. But when it comes to training, the professors will lecture you here. You see yourself in Harvard University, where you are still in Boya, where you are still in Chap. But you will not blame them. Why? The state itself, I have said, until the likes of Kedia say that there must be a compromise policy to integrate youth into political position and governance. If not, you can't get in and all that retire, you are there. And you are using the KDS to be blamed about that. No, they use the exact policy is not going, they should go into this now. In the policy is favorable. Okay. In Nigeria, if you are doing a business, what you know is that the government is eventually as you start as your startup. Until you arrive at the base on your project, then you start paying taxes. Come on, who's going to give you that budget? No. If they give you don't belong to the CPDM, you should be blamed that one. So the few that they give out, they blew, they, they make it as a whole news item. I am telling you that the country is on the brink of collapse. In fact, that's collapse. It's a kangaroo system. That's why in the moment we have new leaders, I mean, new leaders to help this country, we'll be able to see technology overnight. That a man who described Caterpillar on the street in, 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 in Aqua should have been brought in, housed, and taken care of. Not given his, 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 his step, and food given to him, and they start giving new orientation towards that technology. Why is that Korea where we have done this? Not Korea, we have They have everything to develop overnight. Check where is China? From primary school to is taught. China, P nursery in Cameroon. You want to start technology, it's only when you're in university. After wasting all the years brain grammar, doing funny things, which is on theory, you get there, they say, go down to the College of Technology. Mm. In the College of Technology, there at the College University, it's far advanced than all the College of Technologies can put together. The sham. All right. Uh, Mr. Fivis, thank you very much. Uh, we want to hear from you, those of you watching us, let us know what do you think is the problem and where do you think the problem is coming from? Is it a lack? of young people being interested in leadership and political positions or the fact that the old are not giving room or making the environment favorable for young people to participate in politics as well as occupy leadership positions we are interested to hear from you the numbers on the screen give us a call directly and we should have uh, your opinions listen to uh, here during the program you're watching the pan african debate it's on Africa media the pan african television and uh, dr Ako john after listening to five years, you equally highlighted before now the aspect of technology uh, taking over the world already. The comment you just equally mentioned being uh, then oh yeah, all at the ministerial positions occupied uh, with regards to those who have to take decisions that will favor these uh, sectors. Do you think those people uh, have the knowledge, not being youth enough? to make decisions that will favor the young people? How is this affecting uh, the choice of decisions to make that should favor young people when those occupying those positions are not youthful or don't have that knowledge in the developing or the changing world <clears throat> yeah one of the things which uh, we have been saying yeah is if we need to understand the youth we need to put youths in some of their own problems mm -hmm. in youths in position i want to tell you somewhere the development of the labor party in the united kingdom at one time when they, after what you call the industrial revolution a lot of machines were invented and the bourgeoisies, mm. those who invested the money, control labor, could dictate when to put you and they could dictate when they dumped you out. The syndicates on labor had developed in UK to an extent that they decided to get into politics. Mm -hmm. And so the history of the Labour Party, which what are we seeing? That when labor relations are not good, the Labour Party will vote leaders that will represent them in government. And the moment such leaders our laborers, our workers, now taking decision. What do you think? The decision coming out from Westminster will obviously favor labor. Mm. And at one point, the theory will go through. If youths are in a position of decision making, you should make the youths members of parliament and senate as main or top executive position in government, a lot of decisions will be tilted towards the youths. What does it mean that we open a school of technology and students don't have a basic lab to work on. They are not initiated to create. They are trained to create. They simply use lab manuals and then generate one or two chemicals. Then they are tested on. Marks are awarded. After that, what do they become? There is something we call tutor or tutor projects. Mm -hmm. and the level of technical and practical colleges or schools, in some systems like China, students who are the year level of graduating 
are grouped into teams. Projects are drafted, written, and they are sent into a committee or a commission. They evaluate such projects, which are going to have a lifetime impact. Those are going to live for that particular batch. They may set the benchmark that the best five projects will be selected and sponsored by the government. We are still to see such projects in Cameroon. Not like those who are in government are not aware, but those projects are not the ambitions. If you put into such positions, I will tell you, there is no reason children being grouped to write a project called a tutored project. And at the end of the day, they are simply awarded marks. And that project stays for the level of examination, not for the level of transforming the society. What was then the purpose of what we call a tutor project and individual reports? It becomes normal that each, uh, centers like the Sikha Mountain, the Institute for Research and Agricultural Development in Iraq, mm -hmm. has to play a special role. What extent have they changed the hunger situation in Cameroon? People have grown tomatoes within five hours in other nations and become so toxic. How do we reduce it? Now that we have the state encouraging agriculture, those who are into animal farming, they need corn, and human beings are equally eating corn. How do we get people or triple the tonnage of corn in the areas where corn is being produced? These are the questions which are asked or posed into such, into such research institutes so that we may have quality corn in quantity so that it can serve the two domain. Today, red oil becomes a problem. Many have not asked the question, but what is really happening? A lot of companies have developed where red oil has become a main raw material, mm. which were not there in the past. How do you put such industrial need with domestic consumption in competition? And how has the economy prepared itself from such innovations? A lot of companies in, in oil transformation, we have seen them. Mm. What has happened to basic kitchen? Red oil. We are now paying the price of such uh, bourgeoisies who can buy from the factory the red oil produced from Modoni or the one from Sokapam. They go there and pay all and take it directly to industry. And why the local plant, uh, farmers at the end of the day are living on the remains. That's why a liter of red oil has moved from 700 francs to 1,315 in some markets. This is the price we pay. What is Iraq saying? That we can double up the production of palms. We can double up the production of red oil. These are the things we are talking. Such initiatives, the results are seen and witnessed immediately. Within two, three years, such projects will deliver. And we start feeling that there's more red oil in the market. There's more cassava. Because Miondo Bobolo has moved from 25 and 10, 10 francs when we are going to 100 francs and 200 in some areas because we are unable to meet up. Cassava being transformed to flour, which is now saving the baking industry. Cassava, which is locally used for local meals, is incomplete. Yeah. What have we done to meet up with? When we send goods in these centers, there is a need. The chance that will be arrived at will obviously change. And we will not think at the old traditional style of farming, put one stick of cassava and intending to just root maybe two tubers. We need 10 of cassava with power, maybe 10 tubers. A one stick of cassava, 10 tubers can save a nation. Do we have such species of cassava stems that can propagate at this level? At the agricultural institute working up to this level? They need to transform the youth. Yes, it's true. It's not for nothing that when we take examples like in Nigeria, if youths are not interested in politics, it's because government too have made them to be interested in other things. If youths in China or I call South Korea or in Israel are interested in agriculture, it's because government too has made them to see the light in agriculture. It will tell you that a bag of rice sold 8,000 francs, 8,500 in Thailand or Pakistan, but gets to our kitchen in 25,000 francs. You ask what has happened from Thailand to Cameroon. The government has been overlapped. Government does not know how to come out of government burden of expenditure. There is a need at all levels. You can have an agenda that cuts across all sectors of economy. You go to some nations, they tell you Nigerians, tell you the youth council, which is our national youth council, where after training, you have another training to take. But that training has a different perspective and an agenda for you. Without it, you cannot do another thing. Mm. This is where we think that the nation can run to give youths the access financing. He mentioned of the medium, small and medium sized enterprise bank. What has what are its activities? Where are the finances going to? Who are those who are privileged to benefit? How many people have benefited? Where are the results? We need to see it. During the December period, we were unable to find enough chicken in the market. What has happened? 
we were coming and fighting that our market is capable of taking care of itself. A lot of people think that the rice is fake and the island rice is the best. Mm. Can we produce rice that can compare other for rice? Same issue. I'm telling you that the moment youths will get invested into politics, they will define the policies okay. of each domain. <clears throat> so polit political power stands at the center of taking the nation to the next level. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Akujon. Uh, Thailand rice being sold very expensive in Cameroon. Chicken scarcity in market, and uh, these are resources which can be produced in Cameroon. In Nigeria, a year ago, uh, President Buhari banned importation of rice into Nigeria, and a complete ban. And that helped boost in the agricultural sector. If we talk about a country like Cameroon and saying youth should get into politics, it's not the first time President Bia is advising youth to get into uh, into agriculture. Sorry, uh, but the agricultural sector is not being boosted enough to you know, make those into that sector benefit much from it. Let's focus on what President Buhari did in Nigeria. A ban on, on, on rice, and now Nigeria has one of the largest uh, rice processing factories in the region. Now, what has Cameroon done? If we have to look at uh, the continuous call for your people to agriculture, what do you think is being done in the agricultural sector to boost it? Firstly, to talk about rice with regard to what Buari did was uh, banning the importation of rice because when you want to go into agriculture, you first of all do a study on the uh, consumption capacity of the population and uh, we realize that um, rice is uh, one of the highest consumed which compares with corn in the, the sub-Saharan area and so the president of uh, Nigeria decided to ban the importation of rice so as to uh, both home production that was not only done by the state but done also by private uh, indoors. Now coming with the case of uh, Cameroon, it is an idea too that uh, it could be banned to ensure that production has the available market, the available uh, capital and also to expand not just the production. When you ban in to invest in, yeah. That's what I'm saying, that definitely when you ban, automatically you give chance for home production. To have uh, a larger market, meaning mm. that for the whole production uh, capacity, uh, production to be consumed by the people in the counties. Now, in the case of Cameroon, which I want to talk mostly about, especially that of where I come from, there was a time uh, about uh, eight years ago in which a huge chunk of money was given to the UVDA to produce more rice. Uh, but unfortunately, the crisis came, and uh, what would come was uh, the financial resources that was given. I believe that uh, investigations have been done with regards to that. Now, I'll talk about agriculture, which many people think that we should look at it at uh, the, the commercial uh, uh, productivity uh, quantity, like uh, company, like CDC's mass production. But I still believe that even at the level of subsistence agriculture, one can see engaging cassava production. There are many, there's many much more demand of cassava as compared to with rice because from cassava there are companies that demand cassava for production of medicine there are companies that demand cassava for the production of bread uh, bread uh, pop -off and the other there are those demanding cassava for the production of chop many so you realize that cassava even at the level of consumption you realize that cassava is needed for the production of uh, bobolo what the bamenda mao come in yonder you realize that cassava is also needed at the production of gari water fufu and the rest those are the perspective in which youths can engage with to ensure that uh, there is massive production now uh, i am d'accord with what uh, dr elia said that is not about engaging the culture but having the seed that heals that's the first perspective second the geographical study of the soil engaging into agriculture the question is I'm from Dub. This is the type of soil I have. I'm in Douala. This is the type of soil I have. I am from Fako. Yes, I may have volcanic soil there. What are the type of crops that are good for each of these um, soil that will give out uh, a large production uh, capacity? We now go now to the fact that even though in the university, our students are being taught in the University of Chang, University of Boy on Agriculture, but masses also need this education on how to go ahead their uh, 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 production capacity. Now, what do you convince a man of Southwest that is used to with tuba? Because the entire South is the leaf on tuba. A Bayangi man does not play with cassava because that's what he does is water fufu. A Bayangi man does not play with cocoa because that's what he does is kwa koko bible. You go ahead to all the other divisions and realize that it depends on uh, cassava, mm. plantain, and the rest. 
What now will you do to convince such a man to go into a military like corn, granite, and the rest? With regards to their soil this is where the ministry of agriculture indeed is supposed to come in and it's not all about giving out money because i'm very honest i'm a youth and i'm talking to youth and i don't let uh, politics penetrate me who are those that give these agricultural funds to to carry out these agricultural activities is it possible that somebody in the bamisi i don't know anybody in yaoundi will be given funds to carry out these uh, agricultural activities those are the type of questions we have. Let the resources be given to the right people that are already engaged in the agricultural activities so that they can boost them out. Because if we don't do this at the, at the basic level, then we will definitely suffer when it comes to production. Because Cameroon has the fertile soil. Cameroon economy is for some subsistence agriculture. And if at the end we have shortage of food, if at the end we have inflation that affects food, then it's definitely a problem which the aspect of agriculture should be concentrated on and the policy being executed. It is also true that we've had times that um, investment on agriculture has been done per region, which the, uh, the former president focused on it to ensure that the boost agriculture. Those policies of the head of state, I will plead that the minister of agriculture should definitely follow such a uh, 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 outing of the president so that the president should not be embarrassed. Mm. I will definitely tell you today, I will not lie to you. The president of the Republic, President Pobia, has the good will of the have a good will for the betterness of his people. This same president traveled abroad. He looked at the, 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 the various dam that, give that gives electricity to the country. He decided that he will come to his own country and ensure that we have this electricity and let Cameroon be the number one country in the whole of Semak zone to export electricity. What definitely happened? The then minister failed him in that project. And today, Long Panga Manvele, we are still having difficulties with it. Same at the level of uh, the fact that we don't... So I will not want to go into this, but I'm simply just telling the Minister of Agriculture to ensure that when the president talks about youth engaging to agriculture, he's the one carrying the bag to work with the president of the republic and not to fail the president of the republic so that next year I don't come here, let Mr. Fire Evans says that is the number one lie that you should not believe in it. Because when he says that, he will definitely look at various policies that have been put in place and when he looks at the outcome and he gives his own analysis and complaint in his own perspective. So this goes to the minister of agriculture to ensure that he works with his delegate so that the will of the president be executed. He is president of the republic, he makes the policy, and the government is there to implement his policy or to execute his policy. And so we are pleading on the minister of agriculture to definitely implement the policy of the head of state. And most importantly, I want to talk, uh, tell the head of state that it will be a pleasure and a privilege to have a youth, the helm of the minister of uh, youth, to be a youth, that will definitely understand the plight of the youth and communicate with him so that he will know where youth are like. When you have a minister of youth that is not a youth, will definitely not understand the plight of youth. When you look at Mr. Fire Evans, the way he talks, you look at uh, Dr. the way they speak, they are not youth. They don't understand the plight of the youth, but they'll feel that they know. This is what I want. I will wish that if the minister, the president will appoint a minister of youth to be a youth, he will definitely understand the plight of youth and the communication between the youth and the president of the republic will definitely be clear so that the youth can have their development and make Cameroon a better place where not think about flying towards, uh, going to Europe through the ocean or definitely going to America, passing through the Guatalamo forest and whatsoever to go to Mexico and enter through uh, America. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Robert. Yeah. Cameroon has a vast arable land, and Cameroon, as many know, it's fertile. And of course, uh, President Bia continues to insist Cameroonian youth should involve in agriculture and other sectors. Mr. Five, when you look at the different sectors that uh, Mr. Bia continues to advocate for young people to get into, do you see that investment being done in that sectors and to encourage your people as much as? Uh, to be able to flourish and to be able to actually benefit if in case they have to invest in those sectors? Well, um, the talking is different and the doing is different. Mm. That one is for sure. And like, uh, if I get the kid that the man talks about, the father, myself and doctor, we are not used so we cannot understand. You see how when people are ignorant, they express their ignorance in broad daylight and in the public. And ignorance is the main thing that cause harm on a man because he thinks that he's eating crumbs from a particular direction. Those things are actually contagious. 
Now, a doctor deals with a youth population. He's a lecturer, a seasoned par excellence lecturer at the university. I don't think doctors spend his time lecturing people of 60 and 80 years. That we can say that he does not know the applied. I have a media personality, and in my media areas where I am, all those around me are youths. So if Kenya does not know, we might be educating him on why we stand a chance. And I just crossed youthfulness just a few years back. If he does not know, he should know it now. There are several persons in my age now who are still saying that they are youths. I am the few people who come and say, I am not a youth. I just passed some few years back and I cannot stand and tell people that I am a youth. Even if I have lived the bitterness of youthfulness in Cameroon, which is as a result of the kangaroo system and the oppressions manned by the region Yaoundé and people like Kedja who blow gamma day in day out. Now, look at it critically. The other state mentioned different sectors. First, by saying youth should not move because there are opportunities. You talk about the issues of social media and all the like. Now, look at the sector, the health sense there, when that sector has not been developed by the country in question. Just like Dr. himself mentioned on the silicon, if the government had put in vast projects to develop self uh, uh, adapted, what we call applications, we shall know that Yaoundé means business. For example, how do you explain to me that a mobile telecommunication company says they are operating 4G? We don't have 4G in Cameroon. Telecommunication experts disprove me here on air and now. Even 3G, we are still managing. Cameroon is operating fully on 2G network. But now, how do these companies succeed in telling lies that they are operating on 4G? Some threatening to enter 5G. It is the way the system operates in Cameroon. And yet we have telecommunication and regulatory board that sits four times and watch as my companies tell lies day in, day out, that they're operating on this network, on this network, and yet communications is poor. Why will the head of state who calls on social media not give instructions to his Ministry of Post and Telecommunication that put us or develop a kind of study and scholarship that we can give to all those who can go venture into, into social media and the, and, and, and the fabrication of apps? We don't have that. So that's why all our applications are borrowed from France. We we'll borrow applications from France to do banking. We we'll borrow money to do banking. Because our own home ones are not protected by the very head of state who says we should venture into social media. Why will the head of state say let's move into agriculture? When the head of state refuses to develop agriculture, I say refused to develop agriculture by putting in place measures that could uh, give youth stability in terms of finance to venture to mechanize agriculture is not there that's why tractors are abandoned in is it a bolova and others have taken the upper tractor they're using in the private farms as politicians so look at the scenario if i tell you venture this it means i have you the possibility to venture on it and you excel it is a governmental policy and its action is supposed to be on it on a good footing if these things are absent it means all of those speeches they end up in rhetorics and nothing changes day in, day out. We talk about mechanized agriculture. Why is it that we cannot have a cassava flower like in Douala, another one in Yaoundé, another one in Meganga? So farmers who produce cassava will no longer be relying on waterfufu or relying on gari, but should there's a ready market for a company that is going to buy the cassava not to use for starch, but to transform it to another thing. How many biscuit companies do we have in Cameroon? That guy said that farmers who grow bananas, please supply the bananas to these biscuit companies to buy. That is empowering the youth in the economy. If you want to get them, seek up in agriculture. There are a handful of lectures who can give this people Yaoundé. I don't know whether it is that they don't know, or it is that because they are playing the politics of no one to empower youth, they should use people like Kedah to say no. Town does not know the plight of youth, so he cannot talk about youth. Yet, Kenya does not know about the number of youths. We assist at the level of employment. Because I'm at a level of employment, at the level of assisting them, even at the micro means that I do. It means that if you recruit youths and you're able to assist the youth, minimal in financial aspect, it means that you know they are worried. It's better from sleep because when bread and salary is in your mouth, all certain things become very difficult in public. But I think that the state 
from President Pamela's speech needs to go into action and not into rhetorics. That's what the problem is. Because get on the street, Luis, you are a journalist, to carry on a voice pump of 10 youths, only two or one will tell you that, I think they will hope what they are saying. Meaning that over 90% will tell you that, ah, if that what the head of state is saying, not leave it. That's why I said, youth, you are on your own. On your own means that just continue to struggle, continue to hustle. If you have a of going to America, go to America. If you have a to go to Guatemala, go to Guatemala. You can make money, get the, the technology, and then try to bring it back. By the time you come back, maybe the old guts in Yaoundé might have, might have left the stage. Then, we know that you are bringing back something that can benefit. But we are relying on this very system. That KDR is a member to it. Hey, it means that we died on, we died on arrival. So, Mr. Lewis, the main thing is that we have a tendency of us giving ourselves work. That is why the Hester speaks. We spend time. That still means that from his speech, it means that he means that it is all bullshit. If Hester speaks today, and tomorrow, we are hearing that youths of this number are now, they are now going to the institution to clear over 50,000 hectares of land for youths to start cultivating crops sponsored by the state. And by this, these crops themselves will have industry in and Cameroon. They will begin working on transformation. As they finish the banana, they pick the banana and transform into biscuit. How will youths be employed? If they not give work to the youths, empower the private sector. That's what we are saying, which is not happening because all of it is on rhetoric. And as I said, I keep saying this. Anybody who thinks that something good can come out of Yaoundé on the part of youth is mistaken. Because if youth are not a decision-making process, the youth cannot excel. Because the old guts in the power in the, in, in, in the policy-making process will not understand the plight of the youth. Even if they understand, they refuse deliberately. Because according to Kedja, we need not empower the youth, including himself, because we are comfortable with the 2,000 francs. A producer will call me and give me. Wait, 1,000 francs, they will call me and give me. That one, we are okay. Or maybe putting me somewhere and begin to tell me, be here as secretary. Just wait. A post of director is coming. When would you prefer? We'll be controlling you where you are. It is a savage. The state is at the brink of collapse if you don't put youth at the center. Yaoundé does not think about youth. That is why I said any celebration of youth day is a waste of time until the day. The old guys think that they instead of use to get to power, then can you start celebrating that we go to Tutemi Boulevard in Yaoundé with out of 61 ministers of state of state, we can able to find about 30 youths sitting there. Then do you know that they're on a good footing. If not, we will blow them out day in day out and nothing is changing from now to the kingdom come. Hmm. All right, Mr. Five, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Akudon, we're celebrating our one is the 57th edition of the national youth day uh although we're not going down to look at the history of the youth day we're focusing uh, today just on the aspect of leadership and youth involvement in politics and governance what do you think should be that i do message for Cameroonian youth vis-a-vis -vis what president Bobia, you know highlighted in his message to the young people many of course who are interested to listen to mr bia speak to them but at the end of the day they always feel like they are discouraged like maybe the applied to the demands and uh, always met it's always uh, a talk and maybe just just talk yeah, when you realize the, the mm -hmm. speech by the President of the Republic is not different from the uh, mm -hmm. December speech. Mm -hmm. The fact is that when speeches are made, actions are supposed to be taken. Mm -hmm. And for 41 years now, mm -hmm. that head of state has been president of this country, there is no follow-up, there is no need listening or even considering his speeches as very important. We here last time I told you that the head of state speech has become like any other ordinary speech. Mm -hmm. In past, Cameroonians are always motivated to listen if they will see the new vision. But matter of fact, we are talking of airport in Chico and Kribi. We have called Lombanga, Mevele, Naktigal. We are repeating Otoru, Dwala, Yaoundé. We did not mention this time. It will come in the next speech. Have you seen the projects executed? We are still in the epileptic electrical situation in all over the country. The year of time plan and budget speed from where Kribi to north, east, north, west, south, and penetration, Dwala. The roads are still in their situation. The youths have now come to conclude that his speeches are not really worth listening. If the President of the Republic is sincere to the youths, we need to see that the deputies, if not the principal leaders in most government agencies, 
should be youth. This is how we assure transition. We need right at the presence of the Republic. If we have the Secretary of State at the presence of the Republic, number one, the number two should be a youth. If we have the President of the National Assembly, the first Vice President of the National Assembly should be the youth. Mm -hmm. If we need to make a nation to grow forward, if we can't have a replacement, then we have failed. And since people are always afraid that we don't, they cannot replace us, train them and put them in that space to take over from you five years. We're talking of a five years elder. In the level of the CPDM, the young president of the CPDM is an elderly person. The vice president, number one, should be a youth. This is how we assure transition. So the power can go in. In the absence of the order, like we are talking, you have realized a lot of parliamentarians have died, a lot of senators have died, others in ministries have gone on retirement, others equally left abruptly. Their positions have not, they have never been replaced. Mm -hmm. But when we have a deputy, that is a youth. There is already a prospect. But we are not praying that they should die. But no, that is eminent. Yeah. That is normal. Weighing out is normal. We are not live for eternity. Likewise, we have been saying here, the citizens of this present generation will pass away, but Cameroon will remain. How do we assure or guarantee a way forward? There is a need alternative in many regions like we find in multinational cooperation. The law indicates that the moment a foreigner is a GM of a foreign company in Cameroon, the assistant or deputy should be a Cameroon. Why is this law put in place in the private sector and is not so when it comes to political power? If we get even to the level of the governor, we can find a secretary general at the governor's office who is a youth. If you get to the SDO, if the one that is there is an elderly person, let the assistant SDO be a young man. At the level of the mayor, the counters, it will give us clearly that the moment the old, the elders, the elders at the level of the council is no longer, there is a possibility for you to come. And there is even no need that when the mayor is not there, they go in for fresh elections. We have parliamentarians that have not been replaced because the law is vacant. No election has been organized. They will only be replaced the next end of mandate. Is that law perfect? Don't we see that if we go by that light, one day we may have a parliament that is animated all by youth because the law has already permitted them to be trained, gather experience, and they can easily replace the others without fear. This including the position of the president. Okay. If the president of the republic is an elderly person, then the youth should be the vice president. Okay. And that person's age should be scrutinized. In the absence of the president, that individual will take over. Imagine a transition where the successor was not trained by his predecessor, what becomes of the cacophony that we may, as Cameroonians, look over to 2025. And if it's a need for a successor, mm. where should he come from? Mm. Of which, do we even know him? But why can't the institutions of the states and the laws make clear? And we know that the person to take over in terms of vacancy is the president of the Senate. Look at the president of the Senate and look at the president. And who take over from who? Like when you find the same controversy in many other African regimes. Mm. Can the laws in Africa guarantee the transition of youth in politics, governance, and other social activities of the state? Politics decides on all these are the center. Persecution, that not we study. A lot of youth have been persecuted for their belief. People will tell you that because they were in the party 30 years ago, you just came in five years ago, you cannot rule. Since when mm. is knowledge and leadership based on aging activity in a party. Otherwise, people like Obama won't have ever been president. Yeah. There are more elderly persons in the Democratic Party than Obama was. Macron maybe won't have ever been president. In fact, I was shocked. Macron made it mention in Yaoundé that if he found himself in countries like Cameroon, then Macron in France won't have been possible. They are not judging leadership by age. It's not how old you are. And that is why you find a senate of retired officers in an active executive organ. You find all outdated retired workers who have been called over. Okay, they'll be very happy too that it is a possibility to compensate those who have worked for the party. Mm. If you have worked for the party, be capable of contributing when you win activity. How to get politics, to get old aging adult to play a predominant role in the life state when such people... A consultant. We have seen what 
people like John Kufa of Ghana are doing. Jerry Lawrence before his death, we have seen. What people like Tabon Becky are still doing, or Bas Anjo, what they're still doing in Africa. Active. This is the position some of those elders should play. Mm -hmm. Not active positions where we need vibrant people with a lot of energy to be the state. It, 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 the Lamite, who is sleeping, the nation is sleeping. Like the situation we have in place, like Uganda. When by the president of the National Assembly is speaking, nearly the whole assembly is sleeping. Nobody cares about the speech. Because they are out of that age. They cannot listen for 30 straight minutes. They have to sleep. And then there was a newspaper title, a video title, They Slept Again. The whole time is sleeping while the president of the assembly is making a speech. Because they know that it's just a protocol speech. Nothing will change. At the end, the moment you got up, others are clapping, you simply clap. Without even hearing the way forward. Okay. The bill was drafted by ministers, he simply voted. No bill has ever been rejected. After SDF st staged over their small uh, manifestation to equally make an, a propaganda of their own party. At times they just walk them out and they got the seat and vote. The bill. Just imagine that. We have to work for the interests of the state. And we stop this propaganda politics that has carried us to nowhere. 60 years after independence, Cameroon is gradually going back to a single state system. The senatorial elections are coming. And we are going to see the opposite us. They have won. Even when you vote five of you, they will win. So this is where they get the youth uninterested in politics because of persecution. And at the end, they make their games. You will win. You have won. All right. And that's what goes. 30 or 30% 30 of the senators are going to be appointed by the head of state. Look well and look at the profile and the age of those who will be appointed by the head of state. Simply to confirm that it is time. Let's just. Cameroon has become a place where people come to settle food with their neighbors and friends they had lived together. How do you put the life of a nation to such a level of sharing? You share to it, not those who are qualified to work. That is why a lot of decisions are not taken because friends are involved. COVID can get who will make the right decision. Okay. Electricity problems are unresolved. We are still drinking dirty water in towns like Wala and Naundi. And after five, three months, two months, four months, you get to the hospital. You pay the drugs, you economize again, you get back to the hospital. That is the economy we live. Can right. we solve certain things internally? Can Cameroon be ruled by a vibrant and more young group of people? Aspiring. Get him to that position, not by each, but because of his own power that he can it and he can deliver. Okay, thank you very much. Just uh, check the numbers again on your screens. Uh, we had a change of number. We can take five minutes to get your reaction. We already run enough. So check the numbers on your screen and see how you can get to us and leave us your comments. We get Mr. Robert Kidia, based on what Dr. Ako John said, do you see uh, things changing anytime soon? Someone left a message on our Facebook Live page and he said that the system does not uh, have the youth included its agenda. Do you see young people taking up positions like uh, based on what Dr. Ako said? Just in, in one minute, because we're in. Yeah. Yeah. We should separate politics from administration. Now, when it comes to politics, it's like And in my party, like the CPDM, we have the youth wing, women's wing, and the main wing. Now, when there is a victory of the party in a, in a council, you realize that automatically the president of the youth wing will become uh, the second council or the third, and the president of the women's wing automatically takes the other position. That is how it is done within the party. Now, within administration, 100% I'm um, uh, d'accord with uh, doctor with what he said. It will be a pleasure that all these ministries that we have minister and they have minister delegate, why should the minister delegate definitely not the youth? Automatically preparing him, knowing that, okay, fine, because we know from the law that says the minister is there to give some duties and function for the minister delegate to execute. And therefore, if we have a minister and the minister delegate is a youth, and the minister gives him duties to execute, it's definitely a good training to ensure that youth will have their place. Now, I'm very happy with some of our analysts because some thing that is to and criticize and insult and go, why others are there to give opinions? And I want to make this very clear. There are many opinions that have been given on TV and government have implemented. And this one is one of the things that I will definitely promote it, that it should be seen into, that if a minister is there, the deputy at least should be a youth that will definitely follow the way. And I still give my own voice as a youth in Cameroon, that the minister of youth there should definitely be a youth that will, that will create a swift and nice environment communication where you will 
be a center between the youth and all the other ministries so that the youth can definitely have their place in the republic. So it is a good initiative for uh, administratively for you to have their place. But at the level of politics in my party, it is okay because you president they have their position when it comes to mayor and the rest and most importantly our political party to go into that and ensure that youth have their place in politics because politics has to do with political parties administration has to do with governance and will share an opinion on how you can have the place in administration at the level of ministries and the rest all right uh, we have a call online uh, your live program good afternoon let's get your opinion welcome to the panel friends Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon to all the panelists. Uh, I'm calling from Yaoundé. Yeah. My opinion here is, uh, I just want to talk on what Mr. Kia said earlier. He said, uh, uh, from what he was trying to say, he first mentioned of the, the Mr. of uh, the president. Yeah, very, it is very easy to, to deceive a blind man because if a blind man cannot see, it is very easy to deceive him and fool him. So I just believe that the person we have as a president today is a blind man, does not know things that are happening in the field. So it is very easy for all his collaborators to steal or to, to steal an embezzle without him even knowing. Because has not been, he was, he was a youth and active that could go to the field to like. Uh, see what's happening when the is being allocated for that project to make sure the product is carried off successfully. I don't think we are facing a lot of investment in some way. So I believe it because we have four, just like the other police said, we have a kangaroo system that uh, we have four old and uh, I don't know, their brains are worn out, they don't even know what they are doing. All the, the focus on is to make money for their families and uh, they think. And uh, also, I'd like to also add is uh, what Mr. Keda is saying. Uh, I'm not I'm not really happy with him as a, a youth because following the aspect of him being a youth, I expected him to like support something and be a and promote this country. I don't ask in fact from what he's saying, I'm just considering him to be one of those people like El Con, but they are one of the people that spark this crisis where we are it is because of the war that went to civilization said there was no anglophone problem. Right. And uh, today, uh, the pro yeah. Thank you very much for your reaction. Make sure you participate in the program. Thank you, Edison Tamfu. We saw your reaction, but if you want to get to us, call the numbers on your screen. We have to start finishing. That Mr. Five is will run off and Cameron celebrates 57th edition of uh, Youth Day. What do you think should uh, be that message to you as somebody who's been under a system which has uh, hardly changed? And uh, we've had several messages from uh, the head of state. What do you think the young people can do, considering the fact that they have to be involved in decision making, they have to be uh, involved in politics to change the uh, policy that definitely is not uh, fair for them? The, the things the youths can do, one of the things is for them not to dance the African dance with the same parents who are not giving them the chance to see the light of day in terms of independence and political participation. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? It means that no old guard can meet a youth. Or should meet a youth and say, please play my drum for me. When you are not asking him, what is your position? It means that the youth should now stay up and upgrade their value. Because these old guys we have the youth to relation their value. As a man knows that my value is better than Sadiq. As I come to him, oh, you are welcome as a how. Just these two thousand man, you know that he knows that the next day he'll see me in a bar. No, that very moment I give you two thousand just by his office, I'm already drinking and blowing grammar. Hey, Senator, this is better. And all the like. So when youths make themselves valuable, they will not be gullible to these politicians who are old guards and crooks who do the wrong things and cling on to power forever. Yep. Point number two, I keep saying this, the diaspora youths are supposed to help the youths. Since as the state has decided not to empower Cameroonian youths home soil financially to the level where they might become aware of the deeds evil to be done on them and surely to think of to think of revolving or of revolting the diaspora youths i've told them i told them we are just based on the panelists here in this university please go abroad guard youths engineers they bring their money and empower serious youth here what the youths are empowered they will overthrow the old guards from brain comes on all right uh let's have another call online good afternoon you're live on the pan-african let's get your opinion please good afternoon 
Yes, I am Scott Achani. I'm calling from Bamenda, and I've been following the program closely. What I have to say is this. Uh, even if youths are being called on to occupy important positions, would they be given the chance to bring in their idea genuinely without reminding them? That is a question that we, I mean, we need to ask because we have seen people who have come to power, they have not been given the full to execute what they have, what they have been, and what they have in mind to take this country to put that it be. So uh, it's, it is not that I mean, it's particular lament. We are, we are lamenting for a long time. And so shocking that a youth like Mr. Kedia will be saying something that's, I mean, is so disheartening. We can see this figure so clear. We can see the statistics so clear that the government will nothing for the youth. They can have whatsoever they have with small statistics that they're getting to fool youth that we are seeing because we know. I'm coming from school in, um, in Kumba. I schooled there and we were promised jobs. We were sponsored by um, a bank called Afop. Just because we wanted to sponsor these programs to go ahead, we're doing all things going through that. Hey, that way, this is what we are going to have. Because we feel happy. Most of students that went to school are frustrated by choosing different paths and not even related to the study. And I am one of them. So, see, it's as just as one of them. Finally, said, politics is the fundamental ground that is going to give other enabling factors to succeed. Without a better politics in the country like Cameroon, I see us succeeding in any brand or in any. This is what I have to say. I'm a disappointed youth. Thank you. Message. Well, uh, let's have Ola. Good afternoon. You're welcome to the Namkan debate. Let's get to Pion. Can we get to Pion, please? Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. I'm calling from Boya. My name is Collins from Boya. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm concerning the development of youth in Cameroon. In my opinion, according to what Sir Elise has said, and um, Sir Ako has said, the development of youth really depends on empowering youth, as well as empowering them in academics. But if a tax is being leveled against them in academics and cannot meet up to their abilities to fulfill their fees, there are comes waiting for people to go to an even I don't see where the can run is because you cannot study. Then label can go to school because each and the count will not go to any of development of academic of business in any sense. If take on maybe a last call before we wrap up here the studio. Uh, good afternoon. You're watching us live. You're on our freak media. Let's get to Pinyon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Panama debate. Hello, let's see you. Uh, the, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, this is Mr. Kai. Mr. Kai is real going off of the way from Bamenda. I want to react, uh, listening from what uh, the various panelists have spoken. I'm deeply disappointed with uh, Mr. Kedia. He sounds like somebody that does not uh, live the reality of this country. At the same time, I want to call out the call called before the one we just called. That should be disappointed. He should keep hoping, keeping, and working hard. Because in the look of everything's government has been a failure empowering the All right. Something every day we hear things they will do like this, they will do this, and they will do nothing. So I want the youth to continue working at putting in hard work in other domains out around the government. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, thanks for your participation. Doctor uh could on with any of you, what's your message to young people? You have you could be a lecturer and uh, you have a daily live interaction with uh, Cameroon and you like participating in training them. Uh, what do you see as a vision and what message do you have for young people out there? Yeah, as obviously again, one of the a teacher, a youth motivator, a Cameroonian that has equally gone through a lot of stress. I have told youths that for now, they have a time to concentrate in building themselves academically. Uh -huh. When you build yourself academically, it doesn't, there is a need to pay skill training because the nation has not taught us so. It will not be necessary for you come out from the university and you say you have a degree in anthropology. Having a degree in anthropology, you have a degree in history. You have a degree in history and you looking for job. You have a degree in aeronautics. You have a degree in biochemistry. We need to ask whether such subject suits the environment and whether the job market is available for you. 
and for you to be for you to fit well I've advised not to even take pre-train on information and communication technology for practical training even for secretaryship documentation or that's why not do on practical exercises if you can bar very well you may become one of the highest barber in town mm -hmm. and people will come and that's to you if you are a girl go in today we have manicure pedicure we have a call or uh, artist with dressing yeah. dressing the salons they are developing cameroonians cameroonians now so others have money to find looking well you need to get into training begging mm -hmm. if you can beg any of the things can be bread whatsoever you have to do with flour restoration or hotel management today there are some areas that are more practical the moment you have soft skills you will not lack a job if you don't work under somebody you get something of your own okay youths in cameroon need to get more skillful training than theoretical base aspect in life when you don't have practice you don't do anything in cameroon except you want to be under somebody having a certificate doesn't matter but who you become is what matters in more English training, they will ask you what can you do, not what certificate you have. So after having what certificate you always try to see which skill you can develop so that you become a master of your own life. There are people that study business and today they have ended up as good lawyers mm. because they decided with the training into the bar. You are free to become what you wish to have. No human being has demanded to stop another person. Sometimes destiny can only be lit but cannot be denied. We have our life. I'm gonna make it better. Stay hopeful, Cameroonians. Of course, thank you very much. And we wish you happy with the celebration. Come to John Paul. Thank you very much for your message. Those of you who participated by sending us, uh, giving us a message on live page. Thank you very much. Those of you whom we could take all of your comments and reactions, we could appreciate and we say sorry we could not take all of your reactions, but we invite you to stay tuned. More programs are free. Thank you very much, Dr. Ako John, for participation. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Far Evis, and thank you very much, Mr. Robert Kedia. We appreciate those of you who are watching us back home. Thank you to our attention as well. A rebroadcast will be yours on Monday, 14 hours GMT, 3 p.m. with African time. Until then, it's a bye bye for now.